Hi friends, in this video, I'll explain you how we can access the elements of any list. So to understand this process, firstly, we need to create a list in R. So using list function, I'm creating my list L inside this. I'm storing certain elements. Now I'm pressing control enter to execute it in our environment. So you can see it is successfully executed. Now, firstly, I'll name the elements of my list because using the naming of the elements also, we can access the elements of list. So using names function, I can name the elements of list. And in this, I need to use C function to give the names to the elements. So I am giving name to my first element as numeric. To the second, I am giving the name as integer. Then I am giving name as vector to the third element. And lastly, I am giving name to the last element as inner list. I am pressing control enter. So you can see in console, I am not getting any error. So this way I have named the elements of my list. Now we will see how we can access the elements of my list. So using subsetting, that is using the square brackets, we can access the elements of the list. So here I have written the name of my list. After that, in the square bracket, I am giving the index of the elements which I want to access. So in list, generally the index starts from 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So that means the first elements will have the index as 1 and then so on. We can understand this way. So for accessing the first element, I have written here L1. I am pressing control enter and that way in the console you can see R is returning us 29.5. To slice the list, I can also use the double square brackets and inside that I can give the index of the elements which I want to access. So here I am pressing control enter and that way you can see in console we are getting the second element that is 39. But this time you can see when we are using double square brackets, so we are not getting the name of the elements. In case of one square, we are getting also the name of the elements. The next way of accessing the elements of any list is we can use the dollar sign and after it we can select the element which we want to access. So say for example, this time I want to access vector. I am pressing control enter and in the console you can see we are able to access vector which has two elements three and six. Now, if suppose we want to access the second element of my vector, which is stored in list L. So for that, what I need to do, I need to write the name of the list. In the double square bracket, I need to give the index of the vector, which is 3 means vector is placed at third position. And after this, I need to give the index of the elements of the vector, which I want to access. Now I am pressing control enter. So that way you can see now I am able to access element 6 of vector inside list L. So friends, this way, this process is known as accessing the elements of any list. I hope you have understood the concept and now you can try by your own by creating other lists. And that way, using this process, you can access the elements of any list. So friends, thank you so much for watching this video. Stay connected for more such videos in R. Thank you.